Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to answer some of the questions uh, that have been asked on Reddit um, the, around the notepads. Specifically, I wanted to focus on the OneNote application. So here, for example, there is a notebook opened. And let's actually go to that uh, questions, which mentions here. And um, let's select the first question, this one. And it uh, is about um, um, if the Note Max has a processing age when doing task list hit screen, browser reading app, note taking. So let's actually check it out. If we open the uh, split screen and choose some particular application, for example, Inkbro browser, you can see that it's pretty smooth. And by the way, the e-ink center e ink is configured in the following way for this application. If I select one node, it will be uh, conf it configured in this way, as you can see it, the screen. Now let's come back. Um, yeah, so it's uh, pretty smooth uh, in both of applications, actually. Now, the question number two, I have a lot of technical notes that involve lots of screenshots. How does the books go work with those? And the follow-up question, I had to debug install script failure, take notes, screenshots, so the rest of the team can follow along. So um, in this case, um, uh, let's uh, go to some other section of the notebook, for example, Node.js here uh, that I have. I will also move this a little bit here uh, to the left and press on that. Uh, in this section, as you can see, there is some um, particle code written here. I will add just uh, some um, statements here. I will add, um, mention that this is native flip. And mention that this is, um, oh, by the way, I need to refresh. Mere minimal uh, server example. And also I will just select it and basically duplicate it so that I don't need to repeat it one more time. I'll put it here like this. And continue writing, they need to this. And this would be related to the, let's write it in the black, related to the kind of descriptive Then I can again press that, copy paste. Mention that this is started from bash. I can scroll down. There's some other example like this. You can again press on that. And destroy it at some two Bring in some request headers. And this is how it looks like um, annotating some screenshots with the code. If we go back to the questions, then the next question would be following. Question number three. How does it handle writing colors? And what about horizontal scaling? Well, I'm already writing in colors. So yeah, you can see already how it is. Mm, it's actually in green. And about horizontal scaling and uh, vertical scaling. So about that point, for example, if I go to uh, this section to demonstrate it, here I have this uh, notepad. If I scroll to the right, I have some other details like this provided here. I would also refer to the screen. Mm, so it shows uh, pre it handles it 
pretty smooth, I would say. Now, if I come come back to the beginning of this notepad, uh, again refresh it, add some details because it's um, pin out of the Raspberry Pi. For example, if I need to specify, okay, actually it's some um, odd. Don't need that here, and I actually refresh it and specify the connection again i can specify it with red for example and uh, from this pin that it will go over to this pin for example and then specify that this is actually this one also so that basically i know where to connect exactly yeah um so this way basically this is, I'm just showcasing kind of horizontal scaling here. Now, if we come back to some other document here, for example, also, if we come back to the comments section, uh, there was a comment on the bottom as well related to scrolling. So I wanted to mention that as well. Mm, or here, uh, continuous scroll mode and scrolling the documents, PDF documents. So for example, if uh, scrolling in on the OneNote, if I click on, go to this document, um, the document is, this document is large one. And if I would scroll through it, I would say it's, uh, it's pretty smooth. Um, and we can annotate here pretty quickly. So it's, a, yeah, it's sometimes shown like that but not very often if only if i do it very fast <laughs> so yeah it looks like this it's kind of official node.js documentation we can make some marks and notes and let's actually check and open as well the some pdf document in parallel and look how it would look like Here we can open uh, okay this document here. So as you can see here it it actually looks very great. It uh, I don't see a lot of ghosting over here. Yeah, and at the same time, we can uh, read this document here and it works pretty well. So that's it, what I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.